basketball game. Both Hicksville High School and Edgerton High School are members of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and abide by the high standards of conduct and sportsmanship required during athletic competition. This time the Aces would like to take a minute here or two to honor a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we'd like to bring forward and honor Edgerton legend and hometown hero, Steve Temple. <laughs> and last Thursday, Chris and Chris's time for this game, Williams and Defiance County Special Olympians were to face off in an exhibition game featuring Edgerton's own Steve Temple. Due to scheduling conflicts, we were unable to play that game, but we would like to still still like to take a moment here to honor Steve. Stevie Temple of Edgerton is no stranger to area sports fans. He has been a longtime fan of Edgerton High School and can be seen in home games as well as many road games. Doesn't matter what the sport is or what the weather is like, Stevie is a loyal Bulldog. With basketball, Stevie like takes it to another level. He can often be found in the front row of Bulldog games cheering on both the boys and girls teams. When it comes to playing the game, Stevie really shines. He has played for the Special Olympians for 45 years. And he always raises the roof when he hits a three-pointer. Give us one, Steve. Raise that roof, Stevie. Thank you, Stevie. Also, the Aces coaching staff, at this time, would like to wish Sharon Schaefer a very happy birthday. She's been at this 30 plus years. Thank you. Happy birthday.
yeah, it was actually a house point night, and I remember, I don't, I think it was blackout, and I remember they told the students at lunch that day, if you wore black, you got into the game for free for all students, because they really wanted every student to be there for senior night. TV, I think I'll be watching a little too.
<laughs> also, the uh, Williams County Shark player as well got the recognition up to the end of the year. Might go down and shake his hand and have a half uh, Seven. So I just apologize for the audio issue we had there for a moment. Just double checked on it. The sound should be working now. For some reason it wasn't on. Ah, ball off the hands of crawl out of bounds. Making mistakes shouldn't be making this late in the year. Cape with it. Ball deflected. Smith recovers it for Edgerton. Gives it down inside to Schroeder or Fort from outside. That's another three. So about me running out of room here soon. Fort with the steal. Coach Josh Free tried to call the timeout before it happened. Like playing the game of her season. Pass inside to Schroeder. Smith out to Cape. And there's a timeout called by Aces coach. Josh Freeze with the call. 15 to 14, Aces with the one point lead. Well, while we got time here, I'd like to say a big thank you to one of our other basketball broadcast underwriters, the APT Manufacturing Solutions in Hicksville, Ohio. You can check out online aptmfg.com forward slash careers. Nice facility they got there. Me and Bill did actually one of our Facebook Live updates there from not too long ago. An amazing facility, very nice staff, and they're very welcoming. Well, APT Manufacturing Solutions here in Hicksville, Ohio, located in the Hicksville Industrial Park. You can check them out aptmfg.com forward slash careers. I'd like to thank them for being one of our diamond level underwriters. Student section having a good time. I think it's one of, it's one of them just benching another player. You know, I talked about that earlier. It looks like they're one step ahead. Maybe, maybe they're listening in. Could be. Could be.
4.46 left in the first half. It's going to be 15 to 14. Aces in the lead. The Aces are going to have the ball. Oh, up the floor they come. Slattery setting it. Gives it to Crawl. That's Smith. Bergman. Back to Smith. Ha ha ha. Cape gets a foul. It's going to be her first team foul number five. Call on Slattery. I thought she almost got the technical there for a second for throwing the ball at the Edgerton player. Coach Josh Fries getting Avery off to cool down for a little bit. Yeah. Rudersdorf. The ball loose. Oh. Tried to bounce it off the of sights. Yep, that don't work all the time. Oh, Schrader gets two points. Smith up the floor, and we got an Edgerton timeout. Full timeout called by the Edgerton coach. Well, I guess while we got another timeout, you might as well say another thank you to the Subway of Hicksbo, one of our gold level underwriters, proud sponsor of the Hicks TV Subway Player of the Game that we award at the end of every varsity sport to one lucky. Lady Ace. I think last game Molly Crawl was one of our winners. And then for the boys, Aaron Klima. We actually just got our photo earlier before you actually got here, Jim, with Molly Crawl. They gave us nice little gift baskets. Yeah. That's a, a surprise. Yeah, I know. We I haven't opened up my envelope yet, but it looks like there's a card inside with some water. I'd like to thank the the Lady Aces. I've been traveling with them. It's been a great time. They've even came up and thanked me. And thank all of us. It's like it's a great thing. I've even been told they weren't expecting, even just for a small town of Hicksville, to have something where they can earn rewards just for doing good in a basketball game. Something not a lot of other schools have that we're proud to have. We like to thank the Subway of Hicksville for being one of our Gold Level underwriters. You can check them out on the Subway mobile app. So Edgerton has the ball. Rudersdorf to Smith. 10 second call. The student section looking at the referee, it's like, oh, you don't, you don't want to pass it in over here. Yeah. In the corner, the Schrader rolls it. Bergman rebound and the score. I have that as Lindsay's seventh point. Rudersdorf with the ball. Smith, Fort in the corner. Tried to bounce it off of an ace and it didn't work. Rudersdorf with the personal. Schrader at the line. In the ball game. And the free throw is good. Four for four at the line. 14 points for Kenzie. So Kenzie made both of those free throws? Yes, she did. Okay. 21 14, aces with the lead of seven. I have Kenzie with 14, and I'm correct. 
There goes the mini aces basketball. I think I heard they were gonna have a halftime performance. Oh, Bergman rebound and the score. Nine points for Lindsay. Schroeder. Bergman gets a personal. Schroeder will be at the line. Didn't work that time, student section. Three for three for her. And she missed the second court with the rebound. And we have an over and back call. Kenzie chasing the rebound. Slattery for three. Full court pressure by the Aces. Coach Bob Weatherhead for the Aces really emphasizing on get the ball. Her second, team's fourth. Sights in the game for her. 143 and remaining in the first half. A Cape down to Smith. Back to Cape. Rudersdorf. A Cape. Shot is up and no good. Nyhart into the game for Lindsey Bergman. Smith inbounds it. Out to Cape. It's over to Fort. The Rudersdorf. Oh, Cape. The Smith. Smith shot up. No good. Cape or uh, Fort with the rebound. Smith gives it to Cape. Four. <laughs> Cape drive cut off by Smith. Fort stopped. Schroeder and she is fouled. Number 11. I heart. Four for five for Schroeder at the line. Looks like Lindsey Bergman in for Izzy Smith. Oh, no, in for Nyhart. Schroeder, five for six at the line. Mm -hmm. 
Bergman for two. 11 points for Lindsay. 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Fort with the ball, cross court to Smith. Out front to Cape. To Smith. Eight seconds. Cape with the ball. Ball knocked have to away. Shoot it. And oh. that is the end of the first half of play with the Aces 28 and the Bulldogs 17. Ball. They're up by um, 11, 28 to 17, and with the play-by-play, -play, here's Jim Seiler. And we're on the move. Slattery pass inside to Schrader. Schrader gets a rebound of Bergman's shot. Bergman gets a rebound of Schrader's shot, and <laughs> they miss again. <laughs> that must have been about five shots. That they weren't strong enough to get up there. Well, I have a feeling uh, Bill Murphy is going to be here in a second because a uh, Something popped up on the iPad there for a second. Oh, we have. For Edgerton, they've got Smith on the floor, Everett's, Schroeder, Fort, and Rudersdorf. And Hicksville has Slattery, Schrader with the lay-in. Fifteen is Crawl, Smith is twelve, and Bergman's thirteen for Hicksville. Bounce pass underneath. Cape with the ball. Into the game for Cape comes or for uh, yeah for Everett's. Cape is in the game, number 12 for her. Smith to inbound it. Is it into Cape? Cross court for Schroeder. And we're gonna have a block and foul on Bergman. Her second. Teams first. It's me. Common foul. Ball is out to Fort. Schroeder. And we have 24 grabbed Schroeder as she went by. It's going to be her third. Fort takes the ball away from Bergman. And Smith comes up with it, up the floor. Over to Rudersdorf. But Smith, Schrader with the steal. And the lay-in. And the ball. Slatter, he almost got it there for yeah. a second. Hit her right in the face with the ball. Rudersdorf underneath, shot put up, no good, and the ball is out of bounds to Hicksville. Slattery over the crawl. The Schrader and she bounces it past Bergman, out of bounds. Edgerton ball. Yeah. 
They did it again. Bounce it off of the ace and we recover and get the ball for the lay in by Slattery. Rudersdorf to Fort to get two. They have that as her 11th. Yep. She has the 11 out of the 19 points for Edgerton. Smith down to Slattery. Good. Oh, that, out. That, was, that was straight. Lindsay. Or, yeah, Kenzie. She's got 20 on the nose right now. Oh, wow. And Slattery gets a foul. Her first. And there's Wild Bill Murphy. So that was on Slattery, okay? Yo, off we go. Cape inbounds it to Smith. Over to Cape. The fort down low. Is it out? Shot put up. And we're going to have a jump ball. Smith out, and in comes Leah Seitz. Bounce pass to Schroeder. Rebound, Seitz. Gives it up to Crawl. Up the floor we go. Across court, nice pass. Slattery. Oh! I'm here, by the way. Yes, we <laughs> noticed. <laughs> Though the man is back from his meeting. A rather lengthy council meeting tonight. Slattery. You got to get in front of him. You don't run beside him. Smith in for Slattery. 20 point lead for the Lady Bulldogs. For the Lady Aces over the Bulldogs. Yes. I'm getting caught up. I just sat down. I'm, I apologize, everybody. I was at Village Council tonight, and uh, had, tonight was the night of the mayor's State of the Village state address. Of the state and, of the Union. And and actually had some Hicks TV things come up, too. Really? So Yeah. So so anyway, but I, but I am here. Full one-minute timeout. We're we said thanks to, thanks to Subway for sponsoring Player of the Game. At the end of the varsity contest? Okay. I just I'm trying to get oh, caught yeah. up on all the stuff going oh, he's, on. He's been taking care of it. Good. He's he's a good man in that department. He he I think he's taped some of the <laughs> stuff that you've put yeah. out because it sounds like you some of the There time. we go. Well you hear you hear me rattle on and say it yeah. so many times did after so many years. Did you see that? Oh well, the the that's Jersey a, night, yeah. That's our favorite freshman basketball player yeah. he just did a flip in the air standing still yeah i can see some of the some of the varsity guys it's it's jersey night you can yeah. tell they've got their jerseys on and see aaron klima sitting right there, there we got we got a subway gift card for aaron that we got to get to him on friday and you uh, saw that fort with the ball across to cape cape inside to schroeder Cape with the shot from outside. It's mm -hmm. off the rim, and Leah Seitz comes up with it. Molly Crawl up the floor with the ball. Mister, quick inside. Go. Schrader hits the deck. Yep. Rudersdorf with the personal. Her second. Crawl comes out, and Smith in. No, I take that back. Show you, there was Slattery coming back in. Oop. Rudersdorf with the rebound. Kenzie's missed shot. And they save it, but it'll be over, over and back. back. There's been four of those calls tonight. So forgetting where this where that stripe down the middle is. Yeah. Oh, they've made some nasty bad passes. That's up and in. That's that's O Smith right yeah. there. Two points for Kenzie Schrader and another assist for Izzy Smith. Cape with the ball, pass down low to Schroeder. Back out to Cape. 
course, cross to Fort. Is it? Fort tried to go baseline, got cut off. Boop. And there's Zero another one. Back. That's Her, five of them. Her knee slid over. Five over and back. You hardly ever see one a game. Everett's back in the game. Moving it around the perimeter. Smith. What are you doing? There we Swing go, that. Izzy. Oh. oh. Bergman, Bergman gets draws the foul. Oh, that's not Bergman. That's no, all. That's Nyhart. Our, Nyhart, yeah. Number 11, Hayden Nyhart at the line. Ace is up 41 to 19. Ready to shoot some free throws. Ah. Missed that one. Come on, see the ball, see the basket. Nope. No. Nope. Rebound comes down. 2-10 left Rotor in the third quarter. To Smith. Fort drive baseline. She'll draw the foul underneath the hoop. 12. Is he Smith? <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. She's down yeah. there throwing her weight around underneath the basket. Yes. That one's good. Is that number 30? Yep. Dominique Fort. Fort. She's got 12 points. Got them both. She's unbelievable in the second quarter. She hit three trays. We have sights. Again, the Aces will open it up a little bit. Yep. Take a little time off the clock. They're Burn. up by 20. Burn the clock. I thought Izzy was going to go to the mm. basket again. Hey, we do want to let everybody know we're running low on battery, evidently, on the iPad Pro. So at the third quarter break, we're going to be switching over to a different device. So we might have a ending of this live stream, but another one will resume very shortly. So it might not be an actual event. It'll just pop up on Facebook Live, but we are going to switch devices so we don't run out of battery. Oh, Smith got another one, I'll bet. Yep. Schrader and Bergman into the game. Seitz and Smith come out. Oh, way to go. Ber Bergman playing a dream game. Mm -hmm. Nice pass. Schrader with the two points. Two new players coming on the floor for the Bulldogs. Haven't been out there all night. Smith with the ball. The Everett's back to Smith inside. And the two new players touch the ball last. Number 21 is Holly Stark. And number 23, Molly. Tennessee. Bounce pass inside to Bergman. It's good. 
13 for Bergman. Slattery picks up her third personal. And between quarters, I'm going to take some time. I haven't done it yet, so I want to say thank you to all of our underwriters making our coverage possible. Our three diamond level supporters underwriting all of our Aces sports coverage on Hicks TV. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. And online at jimschmidtauto.com. APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio. Also online at aptmfg.com slash careers. And the Hicksville Pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville. Want to thank all of them as well as our gold level supporter underwriting all of our basketball coverage, Subway of Hicksville. Proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game. I'm going to let Jim hand that one out at the end of this one. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at the scores. I kind of got some ideas, but you've been you've been here longer than me. Oh, and maybe Christopher, uh, maybe let him put in a couple of nickel, couple of pennies worth of. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nyhart passed the ball directly to <laughs> Rudersdorf. Schrader slapped it away Schrader, from behind. Yes. Goes out of bounds. Smith with the ball to Everett's inside, down to Schrader. Fort with the ball. Crawl, cross court, goes to Slattery. We're going to have a timeout called by the Aces. So, quick timeout called. Seven. 11 to go in regulation. Aces up 45 to 21. Again, quick 30 second timeout. Jim Seiler, Bill Murphy, Chris Warner, glad to have you with us. Again, I'm sort of a show up in the two minutes or so to go in the third quarter, and I apologize, but one of the things that happens when you have the bad weather and games get postponed, delayed, and rescheduled is sometimes you have conflicts that you weren't anticipating. So, glad to be able to be here. My thanks to Chris and Jim both for soldiering on without me. It's kind of nice to have a couple guys like these two that <laughs> I don't have to worry. You know, if I can't be here, I, they got it covered. I know that, so I don't worry about it. That's it's a kind of a good feeling. That's fun. Yeah. That's fun. And, of course, this is the last home game for the uh, Lady Aces, but they've got, I think, three more on the road. And then uh, our next game that we're going to be covering is uh, going to be their sectional semifinal against Wayne Trace. Yes. That'll be down in Paulding on February 17th. And That's hopefully we'll be going back on Saturday too. Yes, really. And then... Uh, They've already taken the measure of uh, Wayne Trace once this year, yep. so we'll do it again. And then Friday we've got boys basketball action back here at the red zone. Ball goes out of bounds. And the boys are going to be playing uh, the following week on Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday, like the 23rd or whatever. They're taking on North Central, at, oh, really? I think, at 5.30 at Bryan. Okay. So got that, got those brackets sent to me, and I posted them on the Hicks TV Facebook page. Schrader with a rebound. It's a Delia Seitz. That's taken away by Sherry. Got it taken from her, yeah. picked her pocket. Schroeder, and she, <laughs> yep. she got sightsed. <laughs> so Leah picks up now foul number one. Got five new players coming yep. to the bench. Okay. With the girls, if the girls win Thursday, they'll play Saturday. That was a bucket for number 22. McKenna 
That's 24. 24, I'm sorry. Grace Schrader. And then, like I said, if the Lady Aces win Thursday, they play again on Saturday. And then after that, then the following week, I think it's another Thursday, then they'll move to Defiance for district semifinals. I think I, I don't have it in front of me. Let me see. I think I got it here somewhere. And she missed the third one. Yeah, Thursday, February 24th would be the first district game if the Defiance Lady, if at Defiance, if the Lady Aces get out of the sectional. So that week we would have boys sectional semifinal on Wednesday, a girls district semifinal on Thursday. Kind of go from there. Edgerton with the ball. Smith out front. Ball knocked away by Martin, Martina. Yes, Congratulations to her. You notice she's wearing a varsity uniform tonight. Yes. Christopher telling me that she got, got her varsity uniform earlier today at the Eden game. They gave it to her. So, so we've seen Leah Seitz, and then uh, Perna got her varsity, her varsity uniform, Nyhart, and then Vasquez. So some of the girls moving up. I figure it, all of them that are on the bench are going to be. Yeah, they'll have a full roster for yeah, a tournament. They'll all be at the varsity level for tournament. It's 14 points now for Fort unofficially, I think. Short on that one, but Fort retrieved it. Schroeder, pass outside. No good. That was put up by Number Ritter, four, yeah. Nicole Ritter. Pass down to Vasquez. Underneath to Perna, and her shot is short. Got too excited. Martina gets it. She traveled. Ah. Uh. <laughs> She's like, oh, man. Yeah, I worked so hard for that. I got it to drop in. Oh. 5.45 left in regulation. 45-24, 21-point lead for the Lady Aces over the Lady Bulldogs. Fort going baseline. Back out to Smith. There we go. And that's the Schroeder. Got her now for nine points. Trader. Oh, Nyhart, nice catch. That was like a bullet. Slattery. Perna. Over to Crawl. And a timeout called again. Hey, putting Smith back in now. <laughs> <laughs> so when do the boys play the 23rd? Mm -hmm. They play Wednesday the 23rd. Where is that at? And Brian? that'll be at Bryan. They'll be playing North Central. And they're in the uh, early game that night, so it'll be a 5.30 tip-off. And then... I'm not sure. I think that if they win, then they would play Friday because the girls' districts would be on that Thursday, right. Saturday. Right. What? The boy, the boys. Well, like I said, no. I'm just saying. I know the boys play North Central in the first game, and then okay. The, here's the brackets. The other bracket is Toledo Christian and Holgate. So if Hicksville beats That's North Toledo Central, Christian. Yep. then they would play the winner of the Toledo Christian Holgate game, and that would be on Friday at the nice 7 30 p.m. Way to go, Molly. God, that was her first two points. Mm -hmm. Molly Crawl just. Well, some nights you have a hot night, and some nights. If she's only taken two shots. Yeah. And that one's over the backboard yep. and out of bounds. She took she took a shot earlier that yeah. was in and out on a three. I, I was I, I was wondering if it was one of those nights, and I sat down here and I was looking at the scoring Christopher was keeping, and only three Lady Aces had scored yes, at that point. Right. So Molly's only the fourth Lady Ace to put any points up. 
No scoring from Leah Seitz or from Izzy Smith tonight at all. They've, they've taken yeah. they've taken a total of three. Yeah, there's only been three gals who've scored for Edgerton too. So, oh, oh, there's another over and back. Yeah. Gal. <laughs> I, I know how frustrating that is. Yep. You just can't seem to get in the rhythm sometimes. Yep. And yep. And the Lady Aces with things well under control. Still playing tough defense. Yep. Going to have to. And there we go. Two more for Dominique Fort. I don't see how Edgerton only won three games. Well, I guess if they're going to get hot and they're going to peak, this is the time to do it here in the last couple weeks of the regular season. Well, you're supposed to do that. Yeah. And that'll be a foul. Roder, her fourth. That should send Smith to the line. That'll be team foul number nine. And Shrew. Grace Schroeder, is that Schroeder, right? Yeah. Grace Schroeder got four now. Yeah. Oh, that is, I'm looking at the wrong side of the scoreboard. You're right, Chris. Oh, you. nice. Oh, nice. Avery got another tray. Three threes for Avery Slattery now. She yep. got 11 points total. Right. Fort with the ball, cross court to Smith. Smith into the lane, puts up a runner, it's no good, and she's fouled by Nyhart. Two on Hayden. Yep, that's her second. And team foul number nine, so this will be the last one and one. Well, it'll be a two-shot foul, but... Smith missed yep. that one. But after this, it's two shots no matter what for... The Lady Bulldogs, as Perna and Vasquez. Well, Perna will come in. Coach Fries is going to send in Martina Vasquez as well. Yeah, well, that's why why he held her back. Yep. That's a fresh or senior coming yep. off. They're pulling the seniors. Both Slattery and Smith come out and get the standing O from the crowd in the student section. Yep. So that'll be their last appearance There's on Smith. this floor. First point of the night. Nice footwork from uh, Reuters Rudersdorf. Yeah. Oh, oh. Tiptoeing it on the line there. Jump ball. And here comes Molly Crawl off the floor and Story in for her. Yeah, Story, she's been in the game already. Sites is getting a lot better playing that JV. Yep. She played JV for a half tonight. Yep, it gives her a little bit of a warm-up and a little bit of get get into the game yes. rhythm type of thing. So I mean she's a gal that she's an integral part of the team. I mean she hasn't got a lot of points through the course of the season, but she's contributed lots to the Lady Aces Cape success. Cape 22. Yep, that'll be Martina Vasquez. That'll be team foul 10, double bone Edgerton. That one's no good. And that mm, one rolls goes good. In. Two 
Two minutes exactly to go. Clock rolling. And it was partially blocked for Vasquez. And Fort will bring it back the other way. Smith with it. Over to Cape. The Rudersdorf to the hoop for two. Her first two. Yeah. Makes it 50 to 32. Sturry with it. Sturry's in a double team. Gets it out of there. Very. Nice heart shot. Too much on it? Way too far. Edgerton ball. 120 to go. Fourth quarter action, girls varsity basketball. Coming to you here on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page. Glad to have you with us. Smith is it to Cape. And Martina, she grabs it. Yep, Schroeder gets the rebound and gets a bucket and gets a foul. Two more points for Schrader. Olivia Clark into the game for the Lady Aces. And Leah Seitz will have a seat. And we're also having a lot of girls come off the floor for Edgerton as well. 21-23 have both been out there. Mm -hmm. Now all of them have been out there for Edgerton. Schrader hits the free throw, completes the three-point play. A minute two, Nyhart off the floor. Alyssa sights. Nicole Ritter in the game for Schroeder. Story. Nope. Vasquez got distracted, and but now she may get it back. Nope. Out of bounds, I think last touched by Alyssa Stewart, or by, uh, yes. Yeah. Alyssa Seitz, what I'm saying, Story. I knew something, I knew I said something wrong there. Yes. I got the first name right and the last name wrong. I apologize. Everett's with the ball. Nope. And Story is going to be Jump ball. tangled up with Ritter, and down, down they both go. Possession arrow. Edgerton. See Edgerton? Okay. Got 33 seconds remaining. Everett. Bad pass. Nope. And another foul. I think it's going to be on site or on uh, Perna. Yep. Number four. Perna reaching over from behind. That'll be Perna's first. That one's good. Is that Ritter? Yep. That's her first point. Yep. Missed that one. Yes. Another <laughs> time tie ball. That should go to the aces. 22.6 seconds. Sights. Gets it knocked out of bounds. Push off there. That'll still be on the floor. It's only team foul number five committed by the Bulldogs. That'll be Gershutz. Gershutz. Gershutz getting her second. Overthrows Vasquez. Come back the other way. There's a shot at the buzzer. No. No good. 50 to 36.
All right. Let's uh, see if we can run down some unofficial scoring, and there they go. They're going crazy out on the floor. Again, this is the last home game for the Lady Aces. All right. Unofficial scoring. I'll take care of the Lady Bulldogs here on the uh, low end of the 50-36 to 36 final score. Uh, they were led in scoring by number 30, Dominique Fort. She had three threes, a couple of two-point field goals, and three free throws for 16 points unofficially. And right behind her was uh, Grace Schroeder. Grace had a couple of field goals, and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine free throws for 13. After that, slim pickings. Uh, it was uh, Addy uh, Cup with uh, three, and uh, Rudersdorf had a bucket for two, and Ritter with a free throw for one. And I think that adds up you to got, 36. You get Taylor for one. Taylor for one. Taylor Smith, number 10? Yeah. Oh, nope, I did not. All right. She had one. So let me do 16, 29, 33, 1, 32, 32, 34, 35. Yep, there we go. Okay. And for Hicksville, have, oh, golly, a <laughs> scoring slam side. Yeah. Two points by Molly Crawl. She only took, like, two shots all night. And Lindsey Bergman, she had... 2, 4, 6, 12, 13. Yeah, six buckets and a free throw mm -hmm. for 13. And Kenzie Schrader was top dog. She had 10 baskets, 4 for 4 at the free throw line for 24. And my pick tonight is Avery Slattery. She had three trays and a deuce for 11. Okay. And she hustled. She stayed after it. She got physically pounded, and she did a wonderful job. And Christopher said his picks would be either number 13 or number 3. So Avery Slattery's number 3. That's right. So Avery Slattery's going to pick up her third Subway Player of the Game Award. We want to thank Subway of Hicksville for sponsoring that. We're Al and the gang say, go Lady Aces. Subway, a great place to stop before or after the game or any time. And, again, proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award. We want to thank them so very much for their continued support and hope that uh, Avery will get her her gift card. I'm not sure how we'll do that, but nothing else. I guess we could do it at the sectional, but I'll get it for Mr. Yeah. Freeze. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something. But she's got a $10 Subway gift card coming her way, along with our congratulations for having a great game here this evening. Really, it was a great night for her. Really not a bad night for Lindsay Bergman, too. Uh, she's been kind of quiet did, off and on. That's and right. And she's erupts she for 13 out. tonight. And, again, uh, Kenzie Schrader, it's kind of kind of says something when it's like another 24-point night, yeah. you know, because she's had. Yep. She's, she's come on at, here at the end of the year. At the start of the season, you said that she was going to average 20 points a game. And I think she might even be above that now. She, right? She's right on it. Yep. She's right on so, it. So anyhow, we want to, uh, again, uh, congratulate our Subway Player of the Game, Avery Slattery. And uh, congratulations, too, to all of the Lady yeah. Aces. Again, this is their last home game to the uh, two seniors that uh, they had their last uh, time on the floor here tonight, Avery Slattery, Izzy Smith. It's been really great watching both of those young ladies play basketball for the next last few years. And... Uh, And we'll see if <laughs> we'll see if we can get her to come up here. All right. Do you want yeah. Avery? Yeah. See if we can get her to come up here. We also want to say I we want to say thanks to to the uh, Lady Aces in general because uh, they kind of surprised us. They brought up these really nice little gift bags for all three of us. That's what I was uh, yeah. told. Yeah, and uh, so we got some uh, got some. Some goodies here, and I'm going to. You get you get to be big time now. I huh? see that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, congratulations Thank on a great you. career here. Thank That's you. That's great watching you play all these, you know, four years, seeing you. 
up and down the floor. I like the elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the emotions just you get do. the best of you. You do. Help, especially you do. for me. <laughs> yeah, you do. I noticed that a couple of times. <laughs> but how are we feeling for tournament? I'm very excited. The uh, draw we have is very, like, positive, and we have a great lead and a great start to the tournament. We will end up facing Crestview if we go all the way, which is potential we'll end up facing Crestview. And we just hope for the best, and as long as we play hard and we play as a team, we can go far. I believe it. I believe you're right. I just I really believe you're right because your, your draw is really good, you know, and – Hey, it don't matter who Crestview is because you're going to have to play that team anyway. Agree. Yep. Yep, so. they're a very good team. We're just going to have to come ready to play if we make it. we got to beat yeah. Wayne Trace, and we got to play some other teams before we uh, get there, though. It's a long you've, path. You've beaten Wayne Trace already. Yep, we have. We've and beaten you, them. you got, uh, what, the other one is Stryker North Central on the yep. other side. We play North Central tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. There and you go. So you need, to, you need to stop one player on North Central's team. Yep, Maddie Brown. She's a good friend. She's a good friend of mine. I've known her. We've played throughout middle school and high school together, so I'm looking forward to seeing her. That's, that's cool. I'm excited. That's really cool. Hey, congratulations. Thank it's you. Been fun watching you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. The player of the game. <laughs> yes, player of the game, dear. <laughs> so that was terrific. Yeah, we got, uh, again, uh, there's a couple bottles of water and some candy and an ice card, so <laughs> they didn't have to do that. And that You're right. We just wanted to say a big thank you. Yeah, here, this is Christopher's. Yeah. So we wanted to thank them for that as well. I have to do something, I don't know. Maybe I'll talk to Al's and get a couple of those big cookie things for their, oh. uh, for their banquet or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyhow, with that, I think we're getting ready to wrap things up. Everybody, everything is turned off, and everybody's kind of glancing up at us like, come on, guys, let's go. So uh, we will wrap things up before this evening. Again, we want to say a big thank you to uh, the uh, Hicksville Athletic Department, Mr. Haught and Overmeyer, for giving us the space and allowing us to uh, live stream the coverage here tonight. Thanks to all of our underwriters making the coverage possible. Again, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. The uh, APT Manufacturing Solutions Company of Hicksville, Ohio. Subway of Hicksville. And, of course, uh, the Hicksville Pharmacy, located right in the heart of downtown Ohio. We want to thank all of them for their continued support of our East of Sports broadcast, basketball broadcast. And next time you stop by any of those places, you run into, you make sure you let them know how much you enjoy being able to watch the East of Sports action on Hicks TV. They're the ones that make it possible. And thanks to all of you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the live stream coverage from the Red Zone here tonight. Again, our next... Uh, Sports live stream is uh, coming your way on Friday night. It'll be a triple header starting at 4.30. It'll be freshman boys followed by the junior varsity and the varsity matchup as the Aces will host the Fairview Apaches. And then we're on hiatus until tournament starts. Our first tournament uh, broadcast will be coming to you from Paulding High School. That'll be the uh, girls taking on Wayne Trace, and that'll be on Thursday the 17th. The boys sectionals uh, start on Wednesday the 23rd as the Aces will face off against North Central. And, of course, we'll fill you in more as we get a little closer, and we'll keep track of how things are going. Uh, both the boys and the girls, should they get out of sectionals, would play at Defiance in the districts. So with that, we are going to wrap it up. Thanks again for joining us. And again, have a great rest of your week, everybody. Until we talk to you next on Friday, for Jim Seiler calling the play-by-play -play and Chris Warner operating the iPad Pro camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. We all wish you a good night and good sports.